Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name's Dave Theobald. I'm from Conservation Science Partners. We're a small nonprofit uh, conservation organization, so I wanted to talk about connecting wildlands by connecting people in the place and talk about something I call the global grid. So, th so uh, like you, uh, we have, uh, over the past couple of years, uh, our work has been transformed, really, by using Google Earth Engine. These are a couple of our projects. On the left, this is a transboundary mapping of potential jaguar habitat, allowed us to, be, uh, to pivot and be quite agile and respond to draft uh, comments uh, for the recovery plan, for example. Um, uh, also, a climate topographic uh, diversity index that we're using for climate adaptation, planning on the top right. Uh, we're also uh, making great use of the AppSpot technology to be able to take these increasingly uh, widespread or you know wide extent map with increased detail and make those available very quickly to to our clients. So this is a state of America's farmlands that we'll be unveiling uh, this uh, this summer. Um, we also um, have been making uh, Earth Engine uh, available and, and uh, putting it up on, say, data sets like, or a website like this for the Disappearing West. This is showing the degree of human modification, essentially, trying to understand the amount of change that's going on from a conservation perspective. But one of the things I wanted to emphasize here is that this, you know, what's behind the pretty map? And we, so we need to ask two questions, and, and that is how accurate is it and how useful is it? So I wanted to get at that a little bit. Um, uh, so that brings us up to validation. And so uh, we think about a couple things, where to sample uh, and then what to sample. Where to sample, I've been um, uh, working on this idea of this global grid, which is a multi-scale, spatially balanced, probabilistic sampling design that covers the entire world, all the way from uh, very coarse resolution down to 30 meters resolution uh, everywhere. Um, it's flexible, encourages collaboration uh, by leveraging previous uh, and nearby collected data. That's one of its main goals. Um, and uh, because it's complete for all locations across the globe, I'm hoping, and we make this available, I'm hoping that this can provide some means for some collaboration. Uh, on, on the right um, are some, uh, just a, a small fraction, I think those are 10,000 points that I extracted, uh, specifically uh, uh, e extracted for um, urban, uh, basically grading across the urban environment. Uh, brought those in. This is also validation and training, what to sample. We do all this in Google Earth Engine. We also have been making this information to do tests and validating data sets, very similar. Thank you very much to population accessibility. What have you learned so far? I've, I've learned to speak more break. quickly. Um, <laughs> The, yeah, the integration, the integration of uh, uh, vectors and, and uh, tables and bringing those in is extremely powerful. So it's a game changer. So kudos to you, all of you. It's awesome. Thanks. Thank you.